Okay, multimeter basics. We're going to go through this meter. Quick, quick check here. There's our selector switch. We're in the off position right now. Next position, V with a wavy line means AC voltage. A V with straight lines is DC voltage. Milliamps. Next position is ohms, the upside down U. And it tells you resistance. Diode checker, basically a continuity checker also. We have amps and amps, 10 amps and milliamps. I don't recommend you ever use these unless you know what you're doing. I've seen too many people burn up their meters. When you're checking amps, your red lead goes in one of these two plugs for reading amps or milliamps. This side here where the, where the two leads are plugged in is to read everything else. Okay. So I'm not even going to go over that. I'm going to volts AC and I'm going to plug in my meter leads to the end of this extension cord club plug. Okay, remember when you're using your meter leads, as long as the metal part of that lead is touching anything metal, it is going to be hot. So make sure you don't touch the metal on that lead. Also, this ridge built up on the lead that my thumb is rubbing right there. Don't ever put your hand any further forward of that ridge. That ridge is to stop your hand from sliding into a hot circuit and shocking yourself to death. Okay, so we're going to plug both leads into this AC plug and we're reading 119 volts, which is good. Remember, you're always going to read a little lower because there's built-in resistance on your contact points and also your meter lead wiring has resistance. Okay, we're going to go to DC and we're going to read the output of this battery. And there I have the meter leads correctly. I'm going to swap my meter leads around so you can see this little negative sign tells you that your positive lead is on the negative side of the battery and your negative lead is on the positive side of the battery. That's what that little minus is. Now we're going to go to resistance. Remember whenever you're reading resistance remove all power. Any power can burn up your meter. First thing you want to do is hold your leads together. Make sure you got continuity. Okay now I'm going to take this drill the input contact from the battery. I'm going to put my meter leads up against them. Now I'm going to try to read the internal circuit of this hand drill. And I'm going to do that by pulling the trigger on the hand drill. And we should see resistance is showing open right now. But once I press on the trigger, it should read internal resistance of the drill. Push the button. There you go. You see my meter? is going and it's reading the internal resistance out of drill and my switch is good and my drill's got continuity release the switch dead open again push the switch button and now we're reading resistance and this is your diode functions basically the same thing as is resistance except it beeps and one way it'll work through a diode and the other way it won't hear the beep so that's to read the uh, through a diode and verify a diode is working well, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.